Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to receive Litecoin using your Litecoin Core wallet. So let's jump right into it. The first step here is to copy and paste your address using your Litecoin Core wallet. So go ahead and access that. You're gonna have to pull up this wallet right here, which is the Litecoin Core wallet. And that should be in your applications already. If you have not yet downloaded this wallet yet, go ahead and watch my previous videos on how to do that. But go ahead and download this wallet first. And it is up and running already, and it's synced to the network. It does take hours to sync up with the network, so you do want your Litecoin Core wallet up before you plan on sending or receiving, specifically receiving for this video. Make sure you do that first. You know, again, it takes hours to sync up with the network, so be prepared for that. So what we're gonna do here is go straight to uh, receive right here on the top, and we're just gonna click request payment. And it gives us our address right here, which is a string of numbers and letters. But what we're gonna do is just click copy address right here, and it copies to the clipboard automatically. And what we're gonna do now is step number two, which is to send the public address to the account sending you Litecoin. So you're gonna want to email this address and then ask for a small test transaction first. I'm sending it to myself. So what I'm gonna do is just go straight to it. I'm going to click send right here. And then I'm gonna copy and paste that same address from my Litecoin Core wallet and I'm gonna send a small test transaction first. And remember, this is the same process that the other person is gonna be going through when they're sending you Litecoin. However, you know, it could be from another account or it could be from another person. In this video, it's gonna be from another one of my accounts. So I'm gonna go ahead and click send the $5 of Litecoin. I could even verify the last digits so it says 9FKP right there. If I look at this address right here, for Litecoin it says 9FKP, so this is the actual address. I'm gonna go ahead and click send. And that went through. If we look at the Litecoin Core wallet now, it's actually pending, so that test transaction just went through almost instantly, so that's good. And what we could do is verify it on the blockchain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this address again. And what we're gonna do now is verify the pending transaction on the Block Explorer. And the Block Explorer we're using for this video is the Litecoin Block Explorer, which is called SoChain. So what we're gonna do on SoChain is paste the same address that I sent the Litecoin to and search that and it pops up right here saying that there's one transaction and it looks like it just confirmed right now. So that's great. And if I look at the wallet here, it's no longer pending, it's actually inside the account and it's available. So that went smoothly. So we can move on to step number four here, which is to check that the Litecoin Core wallet actually received it and it did, as you can see right here and we could even verify that one more time on SoChain. If I refresh this page right here, it says that it confirmed. So that's good. Let's move on to step number five here, which is to receive the rest of the Litecoin to your Litecoin Core wallet. So I'll go back to Litecoin here, I'll click receive, and then I could click request payment again if I want to, and then click copy address, and then I'll go back to Exodus here, and then click send, and then I'll paste that address into here. This time I'm gonna click all because I already sent the test transaction, and then I'm gonna click send, and then it says, are you sure you wanna send? I'm gonna say yes, and then I'll click okay, and my Exodus wallet is now empty. However, if I look at my Litecoin Core wallet now, it says it's pending. So I could even check this on the Block Explorer, so I could paste in that same address that I just sent to and then click enter. And then it says one transaction right here and that it's unconfirmed. 
so it's still pending right now and I'll go ahead and be patient for that because it should take you know a little bit of time okay great so it just finished pending so if I refresh this block explorer it says that it's confirmed now and if I look at Litecoin core wallet now it says that 1.8 Litecoin is available so that means I successfully received the Litecoin and that actually concludes my video in this video I am not talking about how to protect or backup or even update the wallet I just wanted to show you how to receive Litecoin using your Litecoin Core wallet. So again, step five here was to receive the rest of the Litecoin to the Litecoin Core wallet. And you do want to confirm to the sender that you received the test transaction first. So before you receive the rest of the Litecoin, you do want to email the person that is sending you the Litecoin that you received the test transaction first before you receive the rest of it. So I do want to be clear on that really quick, which is to confirm to the sender that you received the test transaction. And typically you do that by email or you could message them privately. So great. Thanks for watching this blockchain tutorial. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. You could also get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Go ahead and check out the display address here on the screen or check out the links below. You could also follow our cryptocurrency market team on Twitter. You could find my handle at Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching this blockchain tutorial on how to receive Litecoin using your Litecoin Core wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, send them to me on Twitter. Thanks again. Have a terrific day and I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.